First off, tell us, who are you and what did you bring to Maker Faire? Hello, so my name's Taylor. I'm a uh, PhD student at UC Berkeley. I'm in my third year. I'm studying mechanical engineering. I brought a new technology called computed axial photography. So computed axial photography is a new type of 3D printing. Most people are familiar with 3D printing. You build up layer by layer. We don't do that. We throw that away. So we're just called volumetric printing. We print the part all at once. There's no layers. There's no growth. Our parts truly form all at once instantaneously. Okay, that's crazy. Now you say they form all at once, but give us like a time frame. Like how fast is this print? Sure. So the parts that we're demoing today here at uh, Maker Faire, everything prints in 20 seconds or less. And parts that we print in the fast typically print in a minute or less. We're usually on very, very short time scales. That is crazy. So uh, tell me like what, I know you've done a lot of stuff testing this out and exploring this technology. Like what kind of stuff have you done with this 3D printer? Sure, so my research specifically involves adapting this technology for space exploration. So we, or my project is what's called Space Cal, so Cal in space. So there's some interesting things with Cal, but since we're printing things all at once, it's printing in the middle of a vial. So there's no support structures needed. The support structure is actually the fluid itself, and it's very viscous, very thin. What happens if you want to print with low viscosity? Well, your parts begin to form and then they sink or float. Or you can remove buoyancy and then your parts don't sink or float. How do you remove buoyancy? You test it in space. So we've successfully tested this project and what we have here in Maker Faire is a uh, printer that we tested on the Vomit Comet. So we tested a bunch of times in microgravity. We printed over, I think, 400 parts at this point in microgravity. Uh, and we proved that actually the CAL process is even more capable of microgravity than it appears Okay, on. okay, hold up, hold up. You said you tested this on the Vomit Comet. That's now, I know what the Vomit Comet is. But for people who don't know what the Vomit Comet is, tell them what that is. Yes, so it's a very special plane that basically does these parabolic arcs. And what these arcs do is these create these very short zero-gravity microenvironments where we can float around. They only last for about 20 seconds. And then that's immediately followed by two times gravity for about a minute or so. And then you do that 30 times over, basically back to back. So during that time, we do, I think, 30 zero-g parabolas. And with that, we print 150 vials of these parts. And we print multiple parts in a vial. So that's what we're doing on the Vomit Comet. That is crazy. So, um, where can people learn more about this? They're going to see this. They're going to think it's awesome. Where can they learn more? Yeah, so as a research lab, everything we do is open source. We want to make sure this science is... Uh, out for the community for people to learn, to people adapt, for people to try. Um, so we have a GitHub where we link all our software. We have our lab website which links all our different projects and papers and all our papers are open source for people to read as well. So everything is free to the community for people to learn and even try themselves. That's awesome. Thank you so much for bringing this to Maker Faire. Yeah, it's been a pleasure at Maker Faire. I love doing this.